Just stay loyal to one thing, that your wonderfulness is not compromised for any damn thing. I'm committed that before I go, I'll destroy all the heavens, is it okay? The most significant thing about the generation that is next is the teachers. If you just keep your humanity on, I'll step into your life every moment. There are millions of people following us. You think there's some, some sort of responsibility towards us on like how to go about it? All you have to do is just be loyal to that one thing, that you're always wonderful. That's all. The rest of it will naturally happen according to your intelligence and capability, what has to happen will happen. You just be absolute loyalty to your own wonderfulness. There was a man called Shankaran Pillai who was running a pet shop. And uh, someone came and uh, they wanted to buy a dog. There was a reasonably grown-up dog, a golden retriever. He said, I would like to take the dog, how much is it? He said, twenty-five thousand rupees. He said, come on, for a full-grown dog, twenty-five thousand, why? He said, it's too wonderful. He said, yes, it's a wonderful dog, but twenty-five thousand, that's a price. So he paid the money, he took, petted the dog, the dog was very friendly. Then he was just about to leave, he asked, but is this lo dog loyal? Shankaran Pillai said, absolutely loyal, I sold him twelve times, within hours he's back <laughs> So no matter what is happening, just stay loyal to one thing, that your wonderfulness is not compromised for any damn thing, it's important. Just this idea that there is a better place than this to live elsewhere is a criminal idea. It's because of that we've made a mess out of this world because we think somewhere else we're going to be okay. Those who are not okay here are not going to be okay anyway. So I'm committed that before I go, I'll destroy all the heavens, is it okay? Huh? The good food that is promised, the rivers of wine that flow and the virgins, all that, is that okay? I'm asking you, is it okay? This is the time to turn this world into a paradise, hmm? Not go to paradise, to turn this world into a paradise. If all of us are willing, we can make this the best time ever in the history of humanity. We have all the tools. If you make up your mind, we will turn even Siberia into paradise, summer paradise. Usually we thought if you go to Siberia, you don't come back <laughs> We've been thinking of a, a kind of a road trip through Central Asia. Tell me which other countries to do one, while no road kind of countries. No roads, no speed limits, that kind of country, tell me. <laughs> and I want all of you to remember the significance of the roles that you have taken. A nation is built by many people. We need engineers, we need doctors, we need politicians. We need various kinds of people. Among all these people, the most significant thing about the generation that is next is the teachers and everything that you do today will blossom probably after your life is over. And this is the significance of human nature that we are not looking at, we did this today, this today, it has to come back to me. It's not a business transaction that you're planting seeds which will blossom well after your time. But that is the greatest thing about being a teacher. What's the best part to spirituality as students? What can we do to be spiritual. See, uh, the general understanding is, spiritual means you have to go somewhere in 
some other direction than the way you're going right now. No, spiritual process is not a direction. It is a certain aesthetic, it's a certain quality. You can do the same things in different ways, isn't it so? You want to eat food, you can eat with both your hands or you sit down and eat properly. There are many ways to eat. So spiritual process does not mean you have to do something different. Because changing the content of your life is very easy and it doesn't make any difference. It is about changing the context of your life that makes a difference. So changing the context needs attention on all levels of life. If you do everything that you're doing with, let us say, ten x level of attention, we can say you're definitely moving towards spiritual process. Sadhana prepares the system for a life which is profound and spectacular. If this is good, everything that comes is great. Whatever comes our way is fantastic because this is in a good place. This is what sadhana means, that you make your body, mind and energy into a powerful tool and you are human. That means you have erased your boundaries. If you just keep your humanity on, I will step in, I'll step into your life every moment. But you must keep your humanity on. Humanity means just this, if at all in your life, if you set some boundary temporarily, that is because of the nature of the situation in which you are. But this boundary that you set outside should never happen within you. Outside, sometimes we have to do it. If you do that one thing, my one foot is always in your life. That means the throttle is on. <laughs> and it's heavy. You okay?